Good day everyone, my name is Camjack and welcome back to the channel. Today I just wanted to do a little bit of a sit down sort of video and talk about one of my favourite games, Star Wars Empire at War. Now this has been on my mind quite a lot recently but in the last 24 to 40 hours even more so. So let's rewind a little bit, we know how cool Empire Wars. if you've played it before uh, you either liked it or you disliked it. For me it was one of the best Star Wars video games I ever played. When I first got a hold of this game I had to run it on like an age old PC with a really bad mouse but the graphics were revolutionary for its time. You could command fleets of Imperial Star Destroyers or Fighters of Rebel Alliance to bring down the Empire and destroy the Death Star. At the time this was amazing. And this is before things like Sins of the Solo Empire um, and games like that, you know, where we couldn't have mods and stuff like that. So for a Star Wars RTS like this, it was simply amazing. If you've played Empire War, you know exactly what I'm talking about. In recent years, the game obviously isn't as popular anymore. However, it is still popular and has life in it thanks to the modding community. For the past eight years, I'd like to say, or probably even longer, the modding community has successfully kept Empire War alive, with such mods as the Awakening of Rebellion, um, Republic of War is two of the best mods to name a few, and you've got tons of other mods. Very recently, you've had the Empire War Remake mod, which has also brought the game into sort of like what I'd call the modern gaming era, with getting the graphics up to what is so, sort of now like, you know, you could deal with in 2018, to be honest. It's never going to be the flashiest AAA graphics, because the game engine isn't made for that but a modder has successfully gone and made the game to look like it belongs in 2017 2018 and it does look amazing before you think of jack why are you discussing this today why are you talking about empire war recently the original developers for empire war which is petroglyph have started to remaster a couple of their old games i've got the article in front of me now and i'll post it down below as well for you to read on it it's by games industry biz and it basically talks about petroglyph games coming back to remaster the command and conquer games so it goes, today E has announced it will partner with Petroglyph Games to remaster Command & Conquer, Tiberian Dawn, and Command & Conquer Red Alert, and three classic expansion packs. In a Reddit post from EA producer Jim, uh, he said that Red Alert and its three expansions would be bundled as one remastered collection. So basically they're um, remastering that. But you're probably thinking, what does this have to do with Vampire War? Petroglyph Studios, they developed, or Petroglyph Games as they're called, they developed Empire War originally. They were responsible for Empire War and its expansion packs back when the game first came out. You can still see it on their website up here now. Uh, they've also developed games since then such as Grey Goo, which I heard is popular. But Empire War has always been one of their masterpiece games. And I wanted to talk about this a little bit more. As rewind back to last year, there was whispers of what would be referred to as a, sort of like a remaster for Empire War. Or Empire War 2, like a sequel basically, that's what I'm talking about, a sequel to the game. Now, Petroglyph pitched this to EA at the time, because EA currently holds the Star Wars license for all video games. They have things like Battlefront 2, as you know, Galaxy Heroes, Jedi Fallen Order, I believe it's called, and a whole host of other Star Wars projects. So for anyone to create a Star Wars game, it has to be done through EA, essentially. A little bit of a difficult one, and there's a big hoo-ha about this online if you've not checked out in the last year or two to do Battlefront 2, but that's another video for another time. So, if we rewind back to 2018, the very start, which is January, um, Petroglyph Games basically went to EA and said, look, we want to make Star Wars Empire War 2, or a sequel to the game. It didn't specifically state Empire War 2, but something that was a sequel to the game, so we can presume it was along the same lines. Now the article I'm reading currently around me is about 300 days out of date now, but I believe it's still kind of relevant as there's not really been anything on this topic since. So let me give you a quick little read of it. During a Reddit AMA about their latest RTS, Forge Battalion, um, developers Petroglyph revealed they were keen to create a sequel to their breakthrough RTS title, Star Wars Empire War, and had even approached EA about the idea. So again, during the AMA, one Redditor asked Petroglyph whether an official expansion for Empire War could be expected in the future. The developers responded by saying, Unfortunately, no official expansion is in the works. Although we are still collecting data and hoping to get another patch out based on feedback, uh, a developer named Ted Wright. So this is referring to the patch which turned on multiplayer for Empire at War. Before we go down throughout this article a minute, I just want to highlight on that patch as well. That patch that turned on the multiplayer for Empire at War came out of nowhere and was really surprising to a lot of us. It's still active today. If you want to game at Empire War with your friend, you can go and play it through Steam servers now. And it is amazing that the servers of this game were turned back online. Props to Disney and Petroglyph for actually doing this, because it shows whoever was making that decision deeply cares about the classic Star Wars games and aren't just writing them off in favour for the new flashy games such as Battlefront 2. It's a really good thing to hear and I'm glad Petroglyph supported this idea. But I also think it is a sort of little test to see if people are still interested in Empire War. 
but it's also one of those tests I don't think could work entirely well because a lot of modern people do not know about Empire War or have simply forgotten about it now because it's such an old game. There's only now the diehard fanbase around Empire War and plus those who watch it on YouTube. So I don't know whether this test will be successful even if it is a test but it's not been confirmed to be one so that's just me kind of grasping at straws there. Anyway let's get back to this article. The developer went on to say this is something that is purely corporate. I don't have details but EA has the license to do all Star Wars games and they seem focused on making a few titles at a very high quality bar. So they're using all their available resources to that end which means uh, that if you're not into FPS it's not currently a priority. We have reached out to them a few times to see if they would be interested in contacting us to build an Empire War 2 at the same quality level as in other Star Wars FPS titles, but nothing has resolved from that yet. So obviously Empire Wars originally released in 2006, so quite a long time ago now, easily over 10 or 12 years actually, um, and it was set between episode 3 and 4 of the franchise, you know, you, Empire Wars is amazing. The developers went on to say, we would love to work on Empire War again. We've been tossing around ideas ever since the new movies came out, said a developer named Torpid. However, the decision is entirely up to Disney, the IP holder, and Electronic Arts, the exclusive video game license holder. Now, when this news originally came out, uh, I never saw the original article. It got brought to my attention about five months ago when a YouTuber named Eckhart's Ladder brought it up and basically um, was... We were quite upset on Twitter that, you know, EA turned down this idea. I don't think EA have turned it down, I don't think I could probably say that either, but it appears they've just not bothered to comment on it or aren't currently interested in doing it, which is sort of a sad state of affairs. because I think Star Wars RTS definitely has a part in the gaming community, and the RTS community is very big, and I can only imagine how well a modern RTS for Star Wars could do. I mean, hell, even taking Empire War right now and remastering it to 2018 graphics or making a modern version of it could do really well, I think. People, you know, just want to command their own fleets of Star Destroyers and stuff like that. Okay, yes, it's not as flashy as a brand new FPS title such as Battlefront 2 or, God forbid, Battlefront 3, but it's still something to consider. Unfortunately, EA have never released a statement as to why they wouldn't be interested in this, and I don't think anyone will ever get them to, which is a bit of a shame. But it appears they're purely focused on Battlefront 2 and Jedi Fallen Order for a minute, as well as the other Star Wars game that's sort of in production, sort of isn't. But still, at the same time, I would love to see Empire War Remastered. So, what's the original point of me making this video? I know I'm talking quite a lot of this, but stick with me here. So, Petroglyph Games actually announced they are remastering uh, Command & Conquer and Command & Conquer Red Alert. So, I was thinking last night, does this hold out, you know, a future, like, possibility for them being trusted with the Star Wars license again? Look at it this way. EA have currently partnered with them to remaster these two games, right? So, what if they're doing that as a test to see if they're capable of basically remastering Empire at War or making an Empire War Part 2. It could be pretty cool. Again, this is just me grasping at straws here. It's just a little idea I had where I'm thinking, hmm, EA could potentially be testing them to see if they could make up Empire War 2. Very interesting. Uh, unfortunately, I don't actually know if this is anything like it's going to come to light whatsoever, but I think it is pretty cool to, you know, think about it in that way. And we'll have to see how well these Command and Conquer games turn out, but uh, at the minute, it appears there is no Empire War currently in progress or wanting in progress. A lot of fans have expressed a lot of interest basically going, we want this to happen, um, but unfortunately nothing has come to light yet. Would you guys like to see an Empire War 2? I definitely would. I'd love to see a modern version of Empire War brought up to, you know, the modern day standards. It's just a shame EA don't currently seem invested in other titles apart from FPSs, but alas, this may change in the next year. I think 2019 is going to be an interesting escape for Star Wars gaming as well, given the fact obviously Battlefront 2's future is still on the line as of yet. We've also got Jedi Fallen Order. But next year's E3 could see them announce another Star Wars game, uh, particularly to follow in the footsteps of the last um, Star Wars film, which is going to be pretty cool. So yeah, it's, it's something to consider and look forward to, I think. On that note, this is mainly it for me. I just wanted to create a little discussion video around Empire War today and see what you guys think of it. Uh, let me know your thoughts of it down below in the comment section. Would you like to see the modern version of Empire War? I know I definitely would. And uh, we can only hope that one day EA may actually um, go down the RTS road again and pick up Empire War. It could be quite cool. Yep, I've been Cam Jack. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. If you are interested in more Star Wars videos, don't forget you can head over and check out my dedicated Star Wars channel, which is called Star Wars Galaxy. There is a link down below. We're currently covering some top Star Wars Battlefront 2 news, as well as Star Wars news in general. Check it out, and I will catch you next time. Goodbye.